A little bit of preparation can really help your show go a long way. So a couple of thoughts about preparing for your show. One of them is going to be to look for things that you can use on your show. So for example, we have a scripture of the day that comes up on our website. And so here's today's scripture. So we can copy this and we'll put it into a document. You can send this stuff to yourself in an email. Um, but for right now, I'm just going to do this as a uh, specific item. So creating a new document. And so this is the verse of the day. You can always change how large this is. Um, so it will be as big as you need it to be. But in this case, it really doesn't matter a whole lot. We're just gathering information. So we can also come over here and if there is weather that we need to go after, we can get that here. And this is for Conway. And we can actually come in here and copy off the information that we want. Let's paste it in here. So let me see if I can, there we go. It's a little bit easier to read. Now, when it comes to weather, we don't need all of that information. I mean, unless it's incredibly windy, um, not necessary for most purposes. Um, you know, just make it conversational. That's probably the most important thing is that whatever, whatever we say is for the broader audience and a whole lot of details does not help your audience because then it just becomes a, a bit rambly. You don't want that. So basically tonight, tomorrow, tomorrow night, and then you could do like Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So five day forecast is probably enough. And, and you can add some of these things together. So it's gonna be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are all going to be sunny and highs in the upper 70s. Well, highs in the mid to upper 70s. So, I mean, you can make, make it as detailed or as non-detailed as you would like. Shorter is usually better. Just don't need a whole lot of details. And the reason I'm doing this this way, it's just kind of give you an idea of how it could be done. And so we have first of the day, we have a forecast. If you have a news story, you know, anything that you want to put in here that you might think you might want to use, it's just good to have some basic show prep done. You can always leave the window open and just drag it over to the other monitor. So when you come into the radio station, the first couple things that you're going to want to do is turn on the soundboard. There's two switches on the back. You'll just flip those. All the lights will come on. Uh, you'll want to make sure that your main mix is at a good volume. The computer volume you'll turn up and um, before you go on the air, you will need to unmute that channel. And then whenever you have your microphones on, you'll unmute those channels as well. Good DJs always wear their headsets. So please do make sure that you have your headset on because that is very important part of our requirement. Um, you're gonna come in here, open up Backbone Producer, and you're also gonna open On Air Display. And just because we're gonna go ahead and open up iTunes as well, and so we have a couple of different things going on all at the same time. The first thing that we're going to see here is it tells you the date and time. It tells you what is currently on the air and how much time it has left. And you can see these meters running right here. This is in the compact view. It lets you know what played earlier so that you don't repeat those things. And you can also look at it in the on-air view. You're not going to use this view when you're actually using the live assist. But right now we're just familiar with, we are currently automated, we are connected to the server, and it gives us what's playing, and we see this live microphone, 
and this is grayed out. Here in a moment, we'll change that so that you'll see what it's like to be on the air. So this is uh, the on-air display. The other thing that we're gonna have open is Backbone Producer. The Backbone Producer is going to function as a live assist. That means that anything that I do in Backbone Producer, once I have it in control, will happen as it's happening. It's live. So once we have this set up, anything that we do will go on the air. But right now, we're still in automation, so we don't have to worry about that just yet. So probably the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to come in here and you're going to grab a station ID. So by default, I have this set up as a rotator. So since it is in rotation, it means that it's just going to pick the next station ID in the list. Now, if you want to use your specific station ID, you can actually go into items, go over to station IDs, grab the ID that you want, and drag it over here. If you create a new station ID, you do have to make sure that the artist is listed. If the artist isn't listed, then it's not going to work and it's going to give you an error and you're going to wonder why. This is probably why. So just keeping you aware of that. So at this point, right now we're just doing, at this point we're just working with a station ID that's in rotation. So something else that you can do, there's two different ways you can do this. You can use music that is on the server, in the cloud, in the sky, however you want to call it. If you don't want to use music from the cloud, you can use music from the computer that you're on. Either way, you're going to be getting music. So you can come over here, grab a song that you want to hear, drag it over. So it, you notice that it was orange. It starts doing an uploading process so that whenever it's time to play, it's already ready. And this is from the computer. You know, that's dragging from iTunes. So if we're dragging from iTunes, it's highlighted, and we can just drag songs over. If we want to play songs that are already on the cloud, or in the cloud, rather, um, you can come up here and go to playlist and go to database and you can actually see all the music that we have stored and so you can grab music from this collection and play whatever you want from this list you can use a combination of both it, it doesn't really matter um, you just pick songs that you like and of course you know it is itunes so if you want to come in here and put in that you want to hear from david crowder okay so we have how he lives so we can drag that over you can just pick as many as you want if you need to play a break or a psa you can look up your public service announcements here um we have an interesting mix of different kinds of music, you know, entirely up to you. I leave that to you. Something interesting that you may not have used before here um, is something called a stop. And basically what this is, this is to allow you to let the station play a song, a station ID, whatever you would like, and then it's just going to stop and let you talk. So if you have something that you want to talk about, you can stop and talk for a little while between songs. Or if you need to give the Bible verse of the day or anything like that, you can do that here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the control key on the keyboard and we're going to click on add. And so it's going to put in this stop and it's a script. So earlier, remember whenever we we're preparing our show, we said, hey, we probably want to have some things to use in our show. And so we can come over here and paste in the Bible verse of the day and make it as large as we want. I would suggest that you 
uh, make it as big as you can. Because sometimes you might not be able to read it. Once you get that, you just close out of it. It automatically saves, so you don't have to worry about that. And then we'll minimize this. And so if I click on this link, what will happen is it'll say show script or edit script. So I click on this and I can see the script and I can make the screen show me this. And if I need to make any changes, I can do that. I can press the space bar to close or I can click on it to close. And so after this rotating, actually we'll just say after the first song, it's going to stop for this. Okay, so if I am ready to start my show, then what I'm going to do is come over here. I'm just going to minimize this. And I am in automation at this time. So I know that I'm going to go live. So I'm going to go ahead and check on live microphone. Now what you're seeing happen is this live broadcast is going to air. Uh, we're counting down from 2.43. Okay, so I have a couple of minutes to make sure everything that I have going on is lined up like it's supposed to be. So this is the song that is playing. Um, after this song, it's going to just let me take over and I'll come over onto this side and it will allow me to start and it's going to start with this rotator. We are in automation and we're going to hit this live microphone or we've already done that. That's why I have this yellow countdown. It's kind of like the yellow light at a stoplight. It's letting me know that, hey, Gotta slow down. You paying attention? Look at this. I do have my microphone ready, so all I have to do is unmute the switch, and I will go live. Always remember to smile whenever you start out your shift. Just take a deep breath and just let the rest of the day wash off and be in the moment. Be right here. Be right here. Because everybody else out in Radio Land, they just want they want an uplifting DJ that you know wants to wants to give them good news and wants to have a conversation, you know. So I've got seven seconds. And that was Toby Mac. Move, keep walking. You are listening to Tower Radio, and we're at Central Baptist College. Hope you're having a wonderful night out there. We've got more stuff on the way. We've got another song coming up here very shortly, so keep it tuned right here. We'll be back with a look at your local weather. Okay, so... What you're seeing now is that we are broadcasting live. And here you can tell that this is recording live to disk and we are on the air. Anything that I do happens live. So if I accidentally leave my mic on, this would be the time that it would happen. And so you wanna make sure that you always, always, always turn your mic to mute and take down the volume. It's kind of a double catch so that you don't accidentally forget and leave it on. Um, it's a really good habit to just have your hand on the volume control and the mute so that you can do that at any time. Just turn it off if you need to, if you need to cough or clear your throat. If you need to cough or clear your throat or anything like that, it just gives you um, some safety knowing that you have the ability to mute the microphone and to bring the volume down on the mic. So we've been broadcasting live for a minute 37. And so when this song ends and we look over here at Backbone Producer, we're going to go into this live sequence. And we also have our weather hiding out 
down here. And so I could actually come over here and change the size so it's a little bit easier for me to read. That might be too big, but it'll work. And so, like I said earlier, we just need a rough idea. So, you know, you might even come in here Saturday, you know, as long as you know what your shorthand means, you don't have to worry about anybody else. But this is also why you prepare for your show. Okay, so looking over here and I have a minute one left over. And so I think, yeah, it's pretty good for a weather forecast. Right now it is... On my other screen, I can see it's 75 degrees outside. So, so I have 75 degrees. Yay! Okay, so if you're putting timed elements in your shows, then you know that you cannot air this tomorrow. So if you do want to repeat your show, it'll have to be the same day. Otherwise, it won't make any sense. So 24 seconds, 22 seconds, and so it's going to go ahead and give us a countdown in this window over here. And so we're going to watch what happens. I'm going to keep my finger on the mute and on the volume so that I can talk on the air whenever it is time to do so. That's Addison Road with What Do I Know of Holy, and it's probably one of my favorite songs to really think about. And more things to think about, and we have a verse of the day, but strive first for the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all of these things will be given to you as well. It's Matthew 6, 33. You are listening to Tower Radio Conway. Hope you're having a great day out there, and we've got more music on the way. Now, a couple of things happened. So, I didn't do the weather this time, but I do have another segment coming up where I can do the weather. Um, in this case, whenever I was done, you notice at the bottom of the script that it said press, press the space bar to close the script. So I press the space bar, it closed the script, I hit the space bar again, and then it started the next song. And so that's how you start the next song. Something else that you can do on a song is if you want to have it stop after the next song, if you hit the space bar, you notice that it changes this to yellow. That means that when this song finishes, it's just going to stop and sit there. Unlike this stop point with the live script, it will not populate with a script. So this is really good if you're coming back from a break or if you know that you're going to talk unscripted for an extended period of time. You can just put this in so that you can do different things. And so as soon as this song is over, then it's just going to stop and wait on me, and then whenever I'm done, I have an option here. This is a good way to seg back into the automation system. So I can actually come over here, and whenever, whenever Backbone stops, then I can come back over here, click on Live Microphone, and it's going to take us from the live assist on air back to automation and so it should pick up with the very next thing which would be our station id and then uh the next song that's in the list so we've got about a minute and a half left 
Okay, and you can always talk over the ends of the songs if you wish to do that. Some people don't, some people do. It's entirely up to you. Kind of one of those personal choices. You can play music under your voice at any time. Uh, that's a music bed. Makes it sound a little more professional. So at any time you can do that. So just you know, listen to other DJs, see how they handle their on-air time, and then see, you know, figure out what you like that they do or what you don't like, and you know, you can modify your performance based on their performance. You know, it's not a competition between you and them, but it's you know, listening to your own voice and deciding what you like or what you don't like about the way you sound gives you an ability to change that so that you're the best you you can be. So it's giving us a notice that it is counting down. It hit zero. Now it's stopped. So now I'm going to come over here to my microphone. And it picked up the next thing. And notice this went into automation. So we are automated. It's playing. It's going to do the rest of its thing for the rest of the hour. And this has stopped until we tell it to start again. In this case, we don't want to keep this. So all we have to do is close out when we're done because we are in automation and this has stopped. And you can save the playlist. So if you want to come in uh, on, you know, before your shift and, you know, plan out your show, you can do that. You know, if you know that you have you know, a short amount of time between classes and you'd like to prepare your show ahead of time, come on in. You can prepare your show and save it. So if we wanted to save the playlist, you can make sure that you click selected the right program. Click on File, Save As, and you can save it. If you're going to save your playlist, save it year, month, day underscore um and i would say that your month day day of your show so if you're planning the show for thursday then put it for thursday's date if you're planning it for monday put monday's date and then make sure that you know you put your name on it so that you can use it later or it can go into a rotation and so then you would click save playlist and go from there in this case i don't want to save this so I'm just going to do Command Q on the keyboard. Um, it's asking me if I want to save it. I don't. And then on air display, if I'm done for my shift, I can also close this. You can use Command Q to close any program, but you can also come in here and go to on air display and say quit display. It's the same as any other program on a Mac. 